Hey friends, it's Robin Tamani, your Sensi gal from Star City Sensations. Happy Wednesday or whatever day you are watching this, whether you are on my VIP page and watching this live with me. If you are, say hey girl, what's up? Or whatever you want to say. Uh, or if you're watching this later on on my YouTube channel, what's up y'all? Hopefully some of y'all, my international fans are watching. If you are, comment below. I love hearing where you're watching from. Um, I am excited because I have been using, hi Tammy, thanks for jumping on, girl, coffee treat, yes, I'm so like spastic. Anyway, I am so excited because I have for the last, what, two weeks been trying out as many of these bring back my bars as I possibly can. All of these bring back my bars are brand new to me as a consultant, meaning I have never until this month tried these so i've been like a kid in a candy store excited to try these out and i can finally give you a great review so without further ado we got a box this is my transport from work which i work i'm a school teacher i teach high school kids which i'm almost done um but this is my transport 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 from home from school to home box and has almost all of the bring back my bars that i have actually tried in here so I'm just gonna pick one out. I'm gonna tell you what I think, and I'm gonna tell you which ones are fabulous, which ones I'm telling you, like if you like certain things you love, and we'll tell you which ones I don't recommend because there are a few in there that I'm just like, this is not worth your time or your money in my personal opinion. So, as I go through these, if you know of one that like I talk about and you agree, I'd love to hear what your experience is with this. I would also love to hear if you have sniffed this certain these certain scents already and what you get from them. If your nose differs from me, I would love to hear all the things. Comment below as you watch or at the end of this because I would love to know like what your scent opinions are and if our noses are similar or different. So let's dive on in. The first one that I have used and tried out is called Mulberry Bush, which is such a fun name and it makes me think of that song. This one is very tart and I enjoyed this one. This was like a medium to strong performer, more more close to like the strong end. So like out of zero to 10, 10 being the strongest, I would give it like a seven or an eight in like strength throw but it's very tart smelling. I feel like if you enjoyed like the cranberry scents in the fall and the winter, I think you would really love the mulberry bush, bush smell, the cranberry vibe. It smells like, I, I mean, it's not cranberry. It's just a very berry smell and it performs really good. It's definitely like a very rich, deep kind of berry smell. So I liked this one. I, I would buy this one again. I would buy this one again. So I enjoyed that. Um, what else? So next one. Ooh, this one. Guys, based on the scent description, I never would have like said that I think I would buy this. Like, cause you know me, I'm like, okay, read the scent description. And I'm like, ah. but what have I always told you? Don't go off just the scent description, go off of somebody else's nose and just try it out. This one y'all is called white tea and cactus. This one, this is, okay, so literally this is the first one out of all the bring back my bars that I chose to like try out. I was like, let's try this and yay, Dora, you got some, perfect. Can't wait to hear what you like think of these. Anyway, this was the very first one out of all of the 20 some bring back my bars that I decided to personally try. I'm like, this has got my nose intrigued. I am, Scentsy has changed my nose, y'all. It has changed my nose for the better, in my opinion. I was bakery, bakery, bakery. If you've been following me, you know that. Bakery everything, cinnamon, spiced, fall everything. And I'm like, how am I gonna do spring and summer? Because none of the spring and summer is like fall smells, duh. This is great. Like, this is, if you like good, clean, very fresh smelling scents, then this is good. Um, I like this because it does kind of have okay so it does have a little bit of a soapy smell but the, i like that i think that's why i like jammy time too like it has a little bit of like a soapy smell but it's very clean smelling it's very clean without it being laundry or without it being aquatic so it's just a very fresh 
clean smell and I loved this going throughout my home. It made my home feel, feel and smell very clean and I loved that. Um, it has a little bit of a, it's just clean. There's definitely the tea smell and like a green kind of cactusy smell. I like it a lot and it, it really kind of lasted a long time like I had it going for two days in my house in all of the warmers so that helps too if you have multiple warmers going with the same smell that helps um okay next one so I would this is this is like Scentsy Club worthy for me like I like this one so much because there's nothing like it that I think this one might have to go into my Scentsy Club or I'm gonna have to stock up on it before it leaves okay next one Summer Soleil I did try a cube of and I tried this is a cube of wax in my warmer at work. And I liked it. It's very, it smells kind of light when it comes to like sniffing it like this. And it definitely, it's not like a crazy strong one, but I can see why people love this. So this to me, Summer Soleil, smells like skinny dipping, which I should know what the scent notes are in skinny dipping, but I haven't memorized it. But it reminds me of skinny dipping with a hint of coconut and it smelled just like like that. So you definitely get some coconut in this one. It's like a medium to lighter performer in my opinion, but it was nice. It was just a nice kind of summery smell. It, it's not something that I'm like in love with, but if you like lighter summery smells and you like, you don't mind coconut, then this one is one that you might like really, really like. So anyways, that one was good. Um, next one, I was very pleasantly surprised by this one. I had never tried, like I said, any of these. This is called, um, sorry, the light's weird, Strawberry Swirl. And Strawberry Swirl, when I sniff it, it smells, I don't know, a little, I don't wanna say strange, <laughs> strange a little bit. It's like got this milky, strawberry scent to it kind of like I don't want to say like strawberry ice cream because it's not exactly like strawberry ice cream strawberry ice cream is really good it has this milky smell to me and I'm gonna be honest with you so back in like December whenever the holiday collection came out I think it was since of the season it might have been there was like a scent called milk and cookies or no Santa's cookies and that also had like the milky smell to me and that was kind of weird this has that same kind of milky smell, but has like strawberry mixed in. And I like the strawberry of it. And I was like, okay, hesitant, because the milky smell is a little bit <laughs> off-putting to me. But I tried it and I was like, I'm gonna try this. And so obviously I tried several cubes in my house and I did it in the entire base level of our house. So we have like four warmers down here in the base level of our home. And it was really nice. Like I, I enjoyed this more warming than I did on like a cold sniff like this. And the strawberry really came out and it was a little bit like, a little bit sweeter of a strawberry, but it wasn't like candy strawberry, you know what I mean? So I enjoyed this one. This is definitely one that I, I will buy again and, and use again. Um, it was nice, but it was nicer as it was going. So I enjoyed it. If you smell this at first and you're like, you get that weird milky smell, then don't like put it off to like, just like say, oh, I'm not gonna like this. You might like it. Okay, this one is not a bring back my bar, but it's worth talking about because it's called Appealing Apple. This is the June scent of the month, which is wonderful in my opinion. It's like, it's, it's like the sister scent of Johnny Appleseed. It's very apple-y and pear, and I get a little bit of like a candied apple kind of smell. I really enjoyed this one. Appealing Apple is definitely one that I hope comes back next spring and summer like full time because it's a really good apple smell. Um, and like I said, I like it a lot. This was a pretty good performer as well. So Appealing Apple, have you tried it yet? Let me know. Oh, okay, this one, My Wish. So I've tried My Wish. And I tried this one in, I think it was the bedroom. This one reminds me of one of the ones from the Catching Z's collection, and I cannot remember which one it is, which one it was called. It has a little bit of a powdery note to it, but it's also a little bit floral and a little bit sweet. So this one was okay. Um, it was a good, pretty good bedroom smell, like subtle, you know? 
but you definitely get the violet and you get like a powdery kind of like a, a baby powder sort of smell and you get a hint of sweetness so this one I'm like eh, it's okay you know what I mean it's not one that I personally like absolutely love it was okay it was okay not the best in my opinion all right next ready watermelon mint I tried this one also in our bedroom because it has a little bit of a more subtle watermelon smell in my opinion now that I've tried it and the mint definitely comes through and I like watermelon smells watermelon mint was it, it was really light and now it was in our bedroom but it was really light and I, I like it I think next time if I use watermelon mint it's gonna be in like our bathroom because I couldn't really smell too much of it and now that I've let this sit a little more and kind of curate and just kind of like all the um, oils kind of sit out, I've noticed that the mint is a little bit more prominent than the watermelon. And when I first got it, it was like watermelon and like a hint of mint, but it's more mint and then watermelon. So it's okay. Um, it's not one that I'm like, oh, I like knock them all over. Oh, you know what I mean? But it's good. I liked it. It was not, it was not insanely like powerful and I love my scents to be like powerful. And if you like watermelon smells, I have a few others that I think are, I don't know, I enjoy more. Okay, next, ooh, this one. Okay, what, wild black cherry. Holy smokes, power freaking house. It's a powerhouse. This one was, it's a powerhouse. This smells, I'm going to just say Yankee Candle for a sec because before Scentsy I was like all for candle everything and I can tell you candles like the back of my hand. It smells like the, the black cherry Yankee Candle which you know if you've tried that it's really good. It's really strong and I this is a powerhouse smell. Um, this one lasted quite a bit as it was going. It was like whoo -wee, you know like good. I love small, I love, I love strong smells. One of my friends at work tried this one. I gave her a cue. I'm like, try it. And she had got a compliment about it from somebody who was like, what's your room smell like? This smells really good. So if you like stronger, just straight berry without spice, but like cranberry smells, mulberry bush, these two together. Oh my word. Wild black cherry, mulberry bush together. Like that would be the perfect like scent mixer if you just want your house to smell like straight berries. It's powerful, it's good. This one is like a, a, a eight, nine, nine out of 10 scent. Like as far as like powerful. So anyways, very strong, good performer. I liked it. Okay, next one, Ocean. Y'all, I'm surprised about this because if you've heard me talk about Scentsy, and smells you would know that I don't like typically go for aquatic smells because I tell you like they give me a headache for some reason I like this y'all this ocean one is so it's aquatic without being overly aquatic it's it literally smells like ocean air and like sitting at the beach aquatic sand salty air yes it's mm, I don't know it's just really good I can see why people love this now I use this one several times obviously in our bathroom and I have just really liked it you know the first day it's like a medium performer but it's perfect for like that small space it's just very fresh smelling and then um, the second day of it because I don't leave my warmer on Sandy, I'm, I'm seeing some comments pop up here. You, did you get wild black cherry? Because wild black cherry is like, whoo, it's good. Um, but the second day of Ocean, after I turned the warmer on, it was really good too. It was like nice. It was, you could still smell a hint of it. It was just enough smell to make it not smell like a bathroom. You know what I mean? This is, dare I say, Scentsy Club worthy for me personally, because I will be very sad if I don't have this one like all the time because this is like the perfect bathroom smell in my opinion. I really, really love it. Okay, next one. Candy Crave, check it out. Candy Crave, I've used two cubes of this. Ah, so you did get you did get the wild black cherry. I'm excited to hear what you think about it. Okay, so check it out. Candy Crave smells on cold like candy, like sweet, sugary sweet sugary 
with like a little bit of a perfumey note. But listen, I could not smell this for the life of me. I tried this in two different places. I tried this in my little dinky half bath as soon as you walk in my house. Couldn't smell it. And then I tried another cube upstairs in our bedroom. I could not smell this for the life of me. Now I have Candy Crave. I like Candy Crave. I knew I liked the smell of Candy Crave before this because I've used it in the body wash because that was that's available. Um, and I was like, oh, I like this smell. But as wax, I am so disappointed by Candy Crave. Like I want this to be stronger. And I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna try it again in a different location, maybe upstairs bathroom or something. But I'm very, I dare I say, very disappointed by this one. I could not smell it. Have you tried this? Have you, can you smell it? I cannot smell this. Um, question popped up here. How often do you change your pods out in a mini warmer? I think you mean my little cubes of wax in a mini warmer. Honestly, it depends on how long I've had the mini warmer on. I let my mini warmer run like while I'm home. I only let my warmers run while I'm home because um, otherwise, who's the scent for? My dogs? No. Um, so it depends on how long the mini warmer has been on. Also, I could not, like if, I, if I'm home and it's on for eight hours and I can still smell it, then I'm gonna leave the cube of wax in there and then I'm gonna shut the warmer off and then the next day I'm going to turn it back on until I can't smell it anymore. Some scents last longer in my opinion. It's typically like the stronger smells that I talk about last longer. But let's say on average, just my personal preference of popping them the cubes out. I changed my wax out in my mini warmers. I would say maybe once every two, three days, depending on the scent. Um, yes. Yeah, so another person kind of disappointed in candy crave. Candy crave is great in the body wash, in my opinion. Like it's not crazy strong, but it's nice and subtle. I cannot smell it in the wax. Okay, next one. Love story. So I tried a cube of this in our bedroom too. This one, I think the scent description of this one, correct me if I'm wrong, was something about like weird like dark chocolate <laughs> or something. And I'm like, that sounds strange, but I'm gonna try it. This one has a nice like musky smell to it. And I, I think I like musky. I, I remember using this one and being like, that's okay. It's okay. It wasn't crazy strong. And it didn't last like long as, as I would have liked it to. But again, I wasn't sitting in my bedroom like waiting for it like all day. So I just kind of went up and down the steps, you know, in and out of the bedroom. It was nice. It was not crazy strong. Good bedroom smell it was okay. Uh, next one, ready? Oh, this one. You can tell by which ones I love because I've like, ah, there you go. Um, watermelon patch. Y'all, if I had to pick between watermelon mint and watermelon patch, I pick watermelon patch absolutely again on cold sniff this smells like the hubba bubba forgive me if i'm wrong with that gum that gum that's like watermelon it's real big piece of gum that comes in like that like there's like six of them in the roll or what and it's like you gotta chew it and you make the big old bubble it's like a candied watermelon smell and i love this this is a really good performer i enjoyed this one a whole lot this, dare I say, is Scentsy Club worthy for me. Watermelon Patch. If you, if you like Watermelon Tangerine, you're going to love this one. I love, I love this one. And it does have a little sweetness to it. So if you're like sensitive to a little bit sweet, then I don't know it's for you. But I really, really, really have enjoyed Watermelon Patch. Yes, Scentsy Club worthy for me. Okay, next. I have... I'm looking through this because I'm like, oh my gosh, where is it? So I'm just going to talk about it without showing you. If I had to pick one wax out of this entire collection to buy bulk of or to add to my Scentsy Club, which it is 110% going in my Scentsy Club. I don't have it here. Coffee freaking tree. Oh my word, y'all. Coffee tree is a uh, freaking amazing. I love it. I literally would have this package of wax coming to me later this week and it's probably got 45 bars of coffee tree and I'm not even kidding and I'm adding it to my Scentsy Club because it is one I cannot live without. I've been waiting for a good coffee smell and this has hit it out of the park. Like Scentsy, you rock. I see why all us Scentsy people have like voted this thing back. If you like coffee smells, you just like a good, bold, rich, not like 
sweet, sweet coffee smell, but just your home to smell like a Saturday morning and you're brewing a fresh thing of pop, co coffee. You need coffee tree, just trust me. And there are so many mixers that would go with it. Like I'm thinking already, coffee tree and vanilla waves, OMG. Coffee tree and some mocha doodle. Coffee tree and a hug in a mug later in the fall because I'm gonna stock up on some coffee tree and mix it with everything. You make a freaking frappuccino, cappuccino, whatever in your house coffee freaking tree i love it and i can't believe, i don't have it here because i probably like put it in my empties box because it's gone already it is gone i loved coffee tree okay enough about coffee tree but i'm telling you if there's one that you need to try it is coffee tree if you like the smell of coffee all right next Ooh, good one another good one you could tell it's good when there's like a lot of bars a lot of cubes missing rocking ruby raz yes powerhouse smell right here i really enjoy this one it smells like raspberries and oranges and it's just good. It's just like, it reminds me of like mulberry bush kind of. So mulberry bush and rock and ruby raz kind of have the same vibe. Rock and ruby raz also as I was warming it. Yes, Tammy, I'm telling you, I'm glad I'm not disagreeing. You're, you're like, someone else is agreeing with me on coffee tree. Coffee freaking tree is where it's at. I couldn't tell you how many compliments I got of it, of that smell in at my work as I was melting it. I was, and people are like, it smells so good in here. Um, sorry, sidetrack. Rock and Ruby Raz reminds me of the, a little bit of a raspberry version of Paradise Punch. So if you've tried Paradise Punch and you like that, this is a good one too. Paradise Punch kind of reminds me of like a cherry, like a cherry Kool-Aid kind of summer smell. This one reminds me of like a little bit more of a raspberry Kool-Aid summer smell. This is really good. I really have enjoyed Rock and Ruby Raz. If you like uh, summery smells, like just fruity, just fruity, 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 the kind of stronger performers, you're gonna like Rock and Ruby Raz. Um, Spring Forward. So tried this one. I am not a floral person. But I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try this because it has, yes, it has a floral smell, but it also has the green note. And I noticed that my nose tends to kind of like green notes. I remember trying, whew, it's strong. If you're sensitive to florals, I would not, like if, you're, if, if floral anything gives you a headache, then this is gonna be not for you. This one, I tried in my half bath and it was okay. I do plan to try this one elsewhere, but you definitely get like a green, very, very green, springy, florally note. So floral lovers, I think you will love this one. You will love that one. Okay, next, ready? I have, what else? Oh, this one. Y'all, I don't know, y'all. Honeymoon Hideaway. Talk to me, comment below if you've tried Honeymoon Hideaway. I had high hopes for Honeymoon Hideaway. I, when I became a consultant, I had heard about Honeymoon Hideaway. Um, like I'd watched people talk about it and I'd been curious about it and then I joined and like we didn't have it in the catalog, but I'd heard about it. For the freaking life of me, I cannot smell this scent at all. Like I even am, I'm popping it out of here and it smells kind of like, forgive me if you are a Honeymoon Hideaway fan, it smells kind of like stale wood. Like wood that's been wet? I don't know, stale wood. And honestly, as I melt it, I used two cubes because I'm like, I can't smell this like this very good. Like I just don't get much. Maybe it's better in other products. So I hear someone commenting here, it's better in like a bath bomb that you had. I can't smell this. I used two cubes in my warmer and I, in a big full size warmer and I could not smell this. And it wasn't in my open concept, it was in our bedroom. And I'm like, I can't smell this. And I'm very disappointed. I'm like putting my nose all up in the wax. Like I can't smell it. So I don't know, maybe something's wrong with my bar or what, but cannot smell this one. So I'm like disappointed by Honeymoon Hideaway. Okay, a few others. I have a few left here that I have tried and I can tell you what I think. Um, Jet Set Go. When I use this one, this one, reminds me a lot of um, iridescent pearl. And when I've used iridescent pearl in wax, I could barely smell iridescent pearl. I've heard to use it in pods, have yet to try it, and it was like more strong. But for me who likes strong, strong smells to like knock your socks off, 
This one was not a strong, strong smell to me. It's clean and it's fruity. It's clean and it's fruity. I'm having a hard time picking out what the fruity notes are. Maybe some papaya in here and like pineapple. Um, but it was not crazy strong. So if you like a little bit lighter of smells, then Jet Set Go might be a good one. It was okay. Um, it was okay. All right, last, what else do I have here? I've done that one. I got one more, two more. So we have Kahiko Hula, isn't that fun to say? This one, I, I like this one a lot. I can see why people were excited to bring this back. Nothing else in the catalog smells anything like this one. This one is, let me smell this again. And I've used several chunks of it, as you can see. This one's good. It's just like freaking good fruity. This smells like a tropical drink. It smells like a tropical drink. And that just sounds like a, like a frozen tropical drink. Very good. When this one was going, I feel like this one's got some papaya in it too, or mango. When this one was going, it was good. Um, like, like a pretty decent one. So like if you've tried skinny dipping and you know when skinny dipping's going, it's like good, kind of like medium strong smell. This one was good. So this is just like one of those ones I would say if you like fruity, just straight fruity, no clean to it, no super freshness to it, just good fruity smell, like a very tropical fruity smell without coconut, then I think you would enjoy Kahiko, Kahiko Hula. I like this one. I like this one. I liked it. Um, Scentsy Club Worthy, I don't know. I'd probably buy another bar of it. But Scentsy Club Worthy, that's, to be Scentsy Club Worthy for me, you got to be really freaking good. Like, really, really good. And so I'll tell you which ones I will put in my Scentsy Club here in just a sec. Okay, last one I have is not part of Bring Back My Bar, but it is worth a freaking shout out, y'all. Blue, it's part of the summer collection, Blue Agave and Melon. This is, I love this. Like I have it in the hand soap from the Whiff Box and that was nice. It was very light in the hand soap. Like I, I, I don't know, it was like not as strong as I like stiffed my hand after I used the hand soap. But in wax, blue agave and melon. I have really enjoyed this one. This one, um, it smells like agave, which I found I like agave. It's lighter, it's subtle, but it's also fruity. And it's just, I don't know, it's perfect. It's perfect in regards to like light, fruity, refresh. It's very, that's the word, it's very refreshing smelling. Very refreshing. I like this. The melon is adds a little hint, hint of sweetness, but not overly sweet. I really like this one. I... I have enjoyed this one. This is definitely one I'm gonna buy another bar of at least, if not maybe Scentsy Club and cross my fingers. If I don't add it to my Scentsy Club that it comes back full time next year. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Okay, that y'all is it. That's all, that's all I've got. So those are the bring back my bars I've used in my house, in my classroom and what I love. Okay, and if I had to pick my, my Scentsy Club worthy ones for me, let me grab these. Scentsy Club. Y'all, I told you, to be in my Scentsy Club, it has to be really good. So let me pick, and I cannot believe I don't have freaking coffee tree here. Oh, well. Okay, here we go. Scentsy Club. I have, I've got three plus one that's like missing. Oh, well. All right, so Scentsy Club worthy for me. White tea and cactus. Try it if you like fresher smells. You gotta, you gotta like super fresh smells. Ocean. Scentsy Club worthy, yes. Subtle. I love, I don't know, I just love that. I do. Um, watermelon patch. Definitely watermelon patch. Candied watermelon. So good. And freaking coffee tree. Just trust me coffee tree is amazing. I think the first thing I have said to every single person that's asked me, hey, how's these bring back my bars? Have you tried coffee tree? Is the first thing I've said to everybody. Coffee tree, I love you. Coffee tree, I'm so happy that got brought back. Not that I knew what it was like to begin with, but I'm like, it's gonna be good. 
Okay, y'all, that is all I got for you. This is what I have been using. I've been using a lot of wax in the last two weeks since I've got my Bring Back My Bar collection. I am so excited to hear what you're excited about, what you have tried, what you have enjoyed, what you have not enjoyed. What are things that you've tell me what your nose thinks because I love hearing your review as much as you hopefully enjoy watching me tell you about what I am loving. Anyways, I'm signing off guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I hope that some of these reviews helped you to narrow down or ixnay on my ear, you know, cut out some or be like, okay, I should really try that. Uh, all right, peace out guys. I hope you have a great rest of your month and I'll see you here soon.